Hello everyone! Welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore web views in Xamarin Forms using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So what is really Xamarin Forms? So Xamarin Form is an open source UI framework which allows developers to build Android, iOS, and Windows applications from a single shared code base. It also allows developers to create interfaces in XAML with code behind in C Sharp. So these interfaces are rendered as performant native controls on each platform. So who is Xamarin Forms really for? So Xamarin Forms is for developers who are looking to develop or looking to utilize the following. Share UI layout and design across platforms. Share code base, test and business logics across platforms. Write cross-platform applications in c -sharp with Visual Studio. So what is uh, really a web, web, web view? Obviously a web view is a view for displaying web and HTML contents. So as you can see, yeah, I've got a Visual Studio opened. Yeah. So let's go ahead and create a very a blank Xamarin Forms application. So we can do that by obviously clicking on the create a new project. So once we've got a create a new project dialog opened or loaded. So as you can see on the left side, yeah, I've got recent projects, which is showing mobile application Xamarin Forms. So I can actually click here directly but obviously, if you haven't created it recently that same application, then you're going to have to scroll down. So we can scroll down, look for Xamarin Forms, or we can write it simply here. So I'm just going to... So as you can see, we've got C Sharp mobile application Xamarin Forms. So that's exactly what we're actually looking for. So we click on the next. So here, we ain't going to do any changes to the project configuration but obviously you can do that if it, if you require to so I'm just gonna click on the create here so here obviously we actually prompted with a new dialog here so obviously here we can select a flyout template a tabbed template or a blank project to start with so as you can see I've got a flyout it's, a, it's an app with a side menu that can be collapsed on small screens so the tab is an app that uses tabs to navigate between sections. So we're just gonna select a blank project, right? And then we're just gonna include the Windows, Universal Windows application, or UWP, right? So once we've, we've got this bit checked, then we can click on the create. So it might take a while for the whole thing to load. So I'm just gonna pause the video while the whole thing loads. So before the application or the project loads, I'm just going to speak briefly about what the web view in Xamarin forms, what the types of contents that it actually supports. So basically it supports HTML and CSS websites. So web view has full support for websites written in HTML and CSS, including JavaScript supports. So the document is because web, web view is implemented using native components on each platform, WebView is capable of showing documents in the formats that are supported by the underlying platforms. So HTML strings. So WebView can show HTML string from memory. So local files. So WebView can present any of the content types above embedded in the application, which we will look at later on. So as you can see here now, we've got the project created now. So we're going to have a look at it. So we've got the application and we've got the app 2.android, the iOS application, and then the UWP application. So basically we've got the main Xamarin forms here, and then we've got the extended platforms that you want to display your application, right? In this case, obviously we're looking to um, get started with the web view. So we're not going to look too much into the web form. So 
what we do is we're just going to open the XAML in the app too. We're just going to open the, the main page dot XAML. So here we're going to the new we're going to remove the stack layout. We're going to remove everything here. So once we've actually removed this bit here, then we're going to add this web view. So web view. So here inside the web view, we can we can directly add the source. So the source is what website that we want to display on our on our device. So our first, we're just gonna put any website HTTPS colon two forward slashes and ww dot sky sports dot com so I'm just gonna use this bit as an example here so once we actually run it so basically we've actually got the app two dot uwp as our startup so we can go inside the solution right click it and then we look for set startup projects so we select multiple startup projects then we, we start up dot um, android and then up to dot uwp i'm not going to start the ios because i don't have a device here to test it so if you do have it then you can actually start it as well so i'm just going to apply the changes and okay so so once that changes has taken effect then obviously we can start we can click on the start here so we should get uwp application and android device which will actually display the, the sky www.sky.com website so as you can see here now we've got both of the applications starting to load now so we're just gonna give give it a moment for the whole thing to for the android to also come up online so i'm just going to pause it that one might take a bit of a while for the initial run so as you can see here uh, that one is also working perfectly now <laughs> yeah so we just go on to the next bit here so i'm just gonna um, stop this bit from running yeah so i'm just gonna remove the source from this bit here so obviously yeah if we're in a scenario whereby we want to actually set the source from code this is what we can do we put an x then the name so here we can put a small letter web view yeah so we set this yeah as an id so we're just gonna uh, actually build this the application the app too so we're just gonna build it so we've got the build successful so we we come inside the code behind yeah so inside the code behind after the initialized component, we could say um, the web view, that's the variable dot source. So dot source, so we can set the source from here. So actually we could say um, HTTPS colon two forward slashes ww dot YouTube. So we, in this case we're just gonna put youtube.com instead so that we see see the, the changes reflected so here we can just go ahead save it then click on the start so i'm just going to pause it because we don't want to waste more time so as you can see here now that i've got the, the youtube showing us here. so i'm just gonna make everything quick so i'm just gonna stop it from running so i'm just gonna remove this bit here so there's also in the scenario whereby we want to actually display a local html string so this is how we can go about with it yeah so we're just gonna first we're just gonna start with um, a variable just gonna call this um local html this will be equal to a new html view source yeah so with the html view source this is what we can do html i mean local html dot html so this is what we can add. So we put the. So here we could say we can put our HTML here tag. 
HTML tag and then the body. The body tag, so come inside here. So I'm just gonna make it very fast. So the first bit is you can put H1, H1. The next bit, is we can put a paragraph and a paragraph so here we could say summary web view and then, 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 then the, the paragraph you can say this is my first Samarin local HTML. So that's all we're gonna need for here now. So now we can actually set the the web view dot source to our local HTML. So that's all we need to do. So now we're just gonna run it to see what actually comes out. So we've got it running now. So as you can see here now, we've got the HTML being displayed. Yeah, so we, we, as, as I'm actually talking here, so yeah, as you can see, we've got the, the Xamarin also showing now. So as you can see, it's not very difficult. So I'm, I will leave, actually leave it here so you can actually explore further yourself. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got loads of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.